Hey there, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Lectionary Laid Bare. My name is Nat, an Anglican minister, uh, and this coming Sunday uh, in the church, uh, the gospel reading is taken from John's Gospel, uh, chapter 4, verses 5 to 42, and it's the account of Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Uh, I wonder what you do when you are dog tired, uh, you've had enough of the day, and you just want to rest. Well, that's kind of how Jesus was feeling uh, in this account. Uh, he's walking, uh, he's on his way from Judea to Galilee, and in order to get to Galilee, he has to pass through Samaria, uh, the place where the Samaritans uh, live. Samaritans come from um, God's people, uh, the Israelites, uh, through Joseph's uh, two sons and their descendants, uh, but they were taken over by the Assyrians. And so the Samaritans are a distinct people uh, through that uh, intermingling with the Assyrians. Uh, and there's various uh, taboos and boundaries uh, in place here. Uh, and we see this uh, when the woman was surprised uh, to see Jesus there engaging with her uh, because we're told that Jews refuse to have anything to do with Samaritans. So Jesus is here and he's not playing by the rules. He's not keeping to the taboos. Uh, he's breaking right through them. Uh, he's smashing them all over the place. And he is there and he is engaging with this uh, Samaritan woman. So Jesus is in need of something from her uh, for a drink to quench his thirst. Uh, and what happens is this um, wonderful dialogue, uh, this beautiful discussion, the longest dialogue that we have recorded in the Gospels that Jesus has uh, with another person. And it's with a Samaritan uh, woman uh, who are normally off limits to the Jewish people. Uh, but she's not off limits to Jesus. And uh, Jesus engages with her, asks uh, for something from her that she has uh, for a drink of water. And that leads to this um, uh, discussion, uh, which reveals that uh, she has something that she needs uh, from Jesus. Uh, and that is uh, new and eternal life that God is bringing uh, to all people. And Jesus describes it like this. If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me, and I would give you living water. Uh, so at this moment in time, she doesn't really know that she's missing out on something. Uh, she's a Samaritan. Uh, they worship at Mount Gerizim. And they too, uh, like God's people, have this hope of the coming Messiah, the coming Christ, the rescuer figure. Uh, but Jesus reveals to her that um, she is in need uh, of God, uh, of Jesus, right here and right now. And he uses this um, metaphor, I guess you could say, of water to describe uh, the quality and kind of life uh, that Jesus has for her. And Jesus goes on to say, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Uh, so this water is a metaphor describing this new life uh, that God is giving people through Jesus. Uh, new life in the here and the now, uh, forgiveness for the things that people have done wrong, uh, mercy and grace and compassion from God, uh, and a receiving of uh, God's power, the Holy Spirit, uh, to live with inside of people, uh, to help them to forgive others, uh, to be compassionate and merciful to those around them. Jesus is saying this is... Uh, the water that bubbles up within them, giving them eternal life. Uh, we all know how important water is. Uh, we know that we need it uh, uh, to, to drink so that we don't die. Our bodies are made up uh, of water. And through the biblical narrative as well, water has been an important part of God's story uh, throughout the Bible. This account itself uh, is occurring uh, near the field that Jacob gave his son Joseph, and Jacob's well was near there. Uh, Jacob's well isn't really a story uh, recorded in uh, the Old Testament, but when we hear of Jacob mentioned, uh, we go back to uh, the Old Testament stories of Jacob, and we are reminded of that um, well-known story where Jacob is wrestling with God uh, in the evening, and he calls that place Peniel, uh, meaning face of God. Uh, Jacob met uh, the face of God, met God there. So here we have the Samaritan woman meeting with this person of Jesus. Uh, is some of that meaning coming forward here? Is this Samaritan woman meeting with God himself in the person of Jesus? 
Then we have uh, the Exodus account of uh, God freeing his people from the Egyptians through uh, Moses and his leadership. Uh, they're in the desert, they're grumbling because they don't have food and drink. Uh, God has just given them food and now they're crying out for water, they're frustrated. And so uh, God instructs Moses to strike the rock and out from which comes water to nourish them. And then right at the end of the Bible in Revelation uh, chapter 21, verse 17, we have this wonderful invitation uh, at the very end of uh, the Bible, at the very end of the book of Revelation. An invitation that comes from the Holy Spirit and from the church, uh, the bride of Christ, uh, which says, come. Let anyone who hears this say, come. Let anyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. So right throughout the Bible, at the end of the Bible, is this wonderful invitation for anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, what you have done, what people think about you and what you think about yourself. Uh, God longs to meet with you. God is crossing over the boundaries, the taboos, the, the distances in place between people. And he's reaching out his hand and saying, come, come and know me, come and receive this new quality of life. Uh, this new water of life uh, that is new life now and new life for eternity that God is longing uh, to bring you. So this is what we learn from this passage. Uh, uh, Jesus' uh, dialogue with the Samaritan woman. No one is off limits uh, to the goodness and love of God. God longs for all people uh, to come into his presence and to receive uh, these waters of eternal life, these waters of new life. Uh, through the person of Jesus Christ. Friends, may that, that be an encouragement uh, to you uh, personally uh, in your life this week, but also in terms of the people that you meet. Uh, no one is off limits. So if there's any boundaries or taboos or uh, distances uh, in place that we're, um, our culture is kind of maintaining, may we uh, smash right through those through the power of Jesus and uh, introduce Jesus to the people that we know who don't know God yet. May you be blessed and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.